Hello friends, I'm Tony Powers with the Pooter Stomper channel and instructor at the Pathfinder School. And in this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a freestanding plow point shelter or a freestanding wedge as it's also known. So let's get started. Okay, to build this shelter, all we're gonna need is two sticks, approximately five to six feet in length, about an inch in diameter or so. We're gonna need some paracord. I have about 25 feet here and we're gonna need a tarp. And all we're gonna do is put a bowline knot in one end and we're going to feed the line through create a loop go around go down about six inches or so and we're going to put six wraps and three fraps so we're going to go around six times and in between three times so here's one okay so we have six wraps one two three four five and six now we're just going to spread this apart just a little bit and we're going to go in between three times. If I can get my fingers to work here, there we go. And each time we go through here, we want to make sure we get that really tight. Okay, so there's one, there's, get that out of the way, there we go, there's two. And we're going to go once more. And there's three. Just spread it apart. And at this point, we're done with this. We need to go grab our tarp. Okay. We're just going to lay our tarp down. And we're going to go to the back corner. We're going to stake down the back corner first before we do anything else. So we'll get the back corner in there. And then from there, what we do is we will come and grab our bipod here. One way that you can attach this tarp to the bipod itself is just to take a stick or a toggle, run it through the loop of the tarp, and then place it down in this fork. And then from there, you can just pull on it, and it will keep that tarp nice and tight. But one thing I like to do is, let's take this out here real quick, is I will actually just feed the line itself through the loop tighten that down and just pull it like that requires one less component you can use a toggle if you'd like if you have them already made but I'll just feed the line through the loop and then pull it down let's finish staking this out okay so we started off by staking the opposite side of the tarp first now we need to come through here and put a Marlin spike hitch in the line which we're just going to put a loop in the line Fold that on top of the main line, feed our stake through there, pull it, we're going to get it and stake that down into the ground, just like that. And now at this point, we're just going to stake down our last two sides here. Try to get this as tight as possible. And there it is. Now, if you wanted more headroom in here, you could take some cordage, tie it to this center loop here, and then tie it to this tree behind me. Or you could take a stick or a log, put something over it to protect it, like a shimog or a sock or something. And then simply bring this in here and raise that up. And that's all there is to it. Okay, let's take a look at the inside here. We have our bipod right here. And on the inside, we still have plenty of room. We can sleep on one side of that post there and store our gear on the other side. Plenty of room under this tarp. One more thing to keep in mind when it comes to this shelter is you can adjust how high or low this tarp is just by this bipod here. If you want to lower it down, you can spread the legs a little bit. You'll have to re-tighten this line right here. Or if you want to raise it up a little bit, bring the legs closer together. So it's pretty much all friction fit right here and easy up, easy down, and easily adjustable. And that's pretty much it, guys. If you haven't tried this shelter, give it a try. 
Let me know if you like it. I'm Tony Powers with the Pooter Stomper channel. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment. You know what to do. And I'll see you all in the next one.